Did you know Halloween didn't actually originate in the United States? Far from it, friends. Our spooky celebrations have their roots in the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, celebrated over 2,000 years ago. As the warmth of summer gave way to the cold darkness of winter, the Celts marked the end of the harvest season with this festival. Now, here's where it gets interesting. They believed that on the night of October 31st, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. Yes, you heard right. They thought the ghosts of the deceased roamed Earth once more, causing all sorts of havoc like damaging crops and spreading illness. A bit more chilling than bobbing for apples, wouldn't you say? And here's a fun tidbit. The Celts would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off these roaming spirits. Talk about the original Ghostbusters. So next time you're enjoying your Halloween candy, remember its ancient and somewhat eerie origins. Ever wondered why we go around asking for candy on Halloween? The tradition has a funny twist to it. It all goes back to the Middle Ages, a time of knights and castles, and a little practice called souling and guising. People, often the poor, would go door to door offering prayers for the dead in exchange for something to eat or a bit of money. It was a sort of medieval bartering system, you could say. Now fast forward to the 19th century, when the tradition took a sweeter turn. The prayers were replaced by performances and the food and money by candies. And who better to carry on this tradition than mischievous children, donning costumes and demanding sweets? It's quite the evolution, wouldn't you say? So the next time a little goblin or witch knocks on your door asking for candy, you'll know it's a tradition centuries in the making. But Halloween isn't all fun and games. There's a darker side to this holiday. Long ago, it was believed that on Halloween night, the veil between the living and the dead was at its thinnest, and spirits would freely roam the earth. To ward off these spectral visitors, folks would light bonfires and don costumes, hoping to either blend in or scare the spirits away. Fast forward to the present day, and while we may not be lighting bonfires, our fears have taken on a more modern form. We've all heard the urban legend of the poisoned candy, right? A tale spun to strike fear in the hearts of trick-or-treaters everywhere, reminding us that even the sweetest treats can have a spooky side. It's all a part of the Halloween charm, the mix of fun, fright, and folklore that makes this holiday so uniquely captivating. So, as you're enjoying the spookiest night of the year, remember, not everything that goes bump in the night is just a trick-or-treater.